So let's continue with homework from um, May 19th. So this is the back. It says number eight that you're going to find x, the measure of angle one, and the measure of angle two. All right, so if we take a look at this, what you see is that um, the measure of angle one is vertical to this 6x plus 4, which means the measure of those angles are the same. So it's um, logical that if you add these two, remember this is a flat line right here, a straight line, and so the measure of that flat line of the straight line is 180 degrees. Okay? So if you add this angle plus this angle, which is this over here, 2x minus 16, it's going to give you 180 degrees. Now all we're doing right now is just solving for x. When I figure out what the measure of angle 1 is, I'm going to have to put whatever I come up with x as x is my answer, then I have to put it back in for this x over here to figure out what the measure of angle 1 is. Okay? And we're going to assume that um, pair, these two lines, line A and line B, are parallel. Okay? So A and B. Those are parallel lines. Okay. So now let's just solve for x. So looking on this side of the equal sign, are there any things that, that we can combine? Sure. We can combine the 6x and the 2x. We add those two together, we're going to get 8x. Haven't done anything with the 4 yet. Haven't done anything with the negative 16 yet. So we just bring those down. We can do this step by step. So anything we can combine over here? Sure. We can combine. We didn't do anything with the 8x. We can combine this positive 4 and the negative 16, which is going to give us negative 12 equals 180. Now it's easy. Now it's a two-step equation. Add 12 here. Add 12 here. Didn't do anything with the 8x, so we just bring that on down. Negative 12 plus 12 is going to give me 0. Bring down the equal sign. 180 plus 12. 0 plus 2 is 2. 8 plus 1 is 9, 1 plus 0 is um, 1. So you got 192. So now the x is being multiplied by 8, so we divide 8 on both sides to get x by itself. When we divide 192 divided by 8, 8 goes into 1, can't do it. 8 goes into 19 two times. 3 left over, 8 goes into 32, 4 times. So x is going to be 24. Okay? All right. So now we have x is equal to 24. Now we've got to put this back in. There's a measure of angle 1, and here is the measure of... It's going to be a measure of angle 2. And the reason why is because this angle and this angle, this angle, number 2, and the one that's vertical from that are all equal measures. And the reason why is because this line A and line B are parallel. Okay, So we'll already automatically know that this, this angle and this angle are equal. Okay? So we put this 24 back in. Okay, so we're going to put this 24 back in. It'll be 6 times 24 plus 4. And this one will be 2 times 24 minus 16. 6 times 24 is 144. And then plus 8 is 148. Okay, 2 times 24 is 48. And then we're going to take 16 away from that, and we get 30. So, what we should come up with is 148 plus 32, and that should equal 180. So, 8 plus 2 is 10, we're going to put 0 down, 3 and 1. 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8, and then 1 plus 0 is 1, 180. That's how we know we have the right answer.